Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow YouTubers, Facebookians. Welcome to another edition of Aries Video Vlog. I'm Aries. Uh, this is about three days of conglomerations from 8-2 to 8-5, or about four days, or, you know, in between. First of all, I want to say I restocked my candy supply here. <clears throat> I like blow, plop, uh, blow pops for throughout the day. I got my bazooka gum. I went to Walmart in Wenatchee, and Aaron pointed this out. Peppermint Starlight Mints. Now, I like to suck on Starlight Mints just like everyone else. Same with uh, the green ones, which is, I believe, Spearmint Starlight Mints. I like the green ones more, but, the you know, the Mexican restaurant I go to, Tacos El Rey, they have both types, but Aaron always grabs the red one, so. Then, just so you know, I bought seven bags of my Blow Pops. Four bags of the bazooka gum to keep me from smoking cigars. So, first I want to say, Annie, I love you and I miss you, darling. So, anyways, welcome to another edition. So, what's happened in the last three days, by the way, is, uh, hold on a second. I'm still with you, my audience. Even though I'm off the camera, I'm still talking, so you're not thinking it's a magical talking chair. I forgot to put my bracelet on this morning. So, I love bracelets, by the way. It makes me very, you know, happy. Uh, so, anyways, I think I'm coming down on the summer cold, but I don't know. <laughs> so, this, uh, so, on the 3rd, because I told you I was going to meet up with my uncle in, um, in Moses Lake. Now, frankly, I'll just tell you one thing. I don't mind meeting him up once a month. And I think he understands that because I got to get up at 4 in the morning until I move to Moses Lake. Basically, to be traveling all the way out there for my uh, appointments and etc. So 4 in the morning comes fast. Now, Aaron wanted to make an appointment with his doctor. Oh, and I forgot to tell you for my candy supply, instead of Jolly Ranchers this month, I've been craving and bought, thinking about buying a tub of Red Vines. So, anyways, talking about, um, about things going on, by the way, uh, we got uh, on the bus, no trouble, uh, Aaron was talking to the bus driver, I was chewing on gum, I wanted to get more gum, but the checkout we went through didn't have a gum section at Safeway, so, you know, but we got into Safeway on time, my uncle was sitting there trying to figure out what to say to me, because I was ordering my coffee, and the first thing he said was, uh, you know, good to see you, you know, and I shook his hand. I don't like hugs. And my aunt looked very, very beautiful, just like when she got married to him. So my uncle did very well for himself. Um, uh, the mother-in-law was still there, and I remember her, so we all had coffee. And she went shopping and did the shopping that was needed. So afterwards, Aaron and I decided to get a few items ourselves. Um... And then when we went out the door, I got, uh, like, uh, $9 in items, you know, and I took out cash and put back what I have spent in my savings for, uh, uh, on Burger King. Then I decided to get on to, uh, Smoke City, or Big Smoke, I think it is. Big Smoke, that's right. Smoke City's in Wenatchee. Aaron wanted some cigars, so, voila. From there, we decided to walk down to, um... Yeah, have lunch. We didn't get any, uh, we didn't go to the dollar store there in Moses Lake because you'd have to traverse the hill to go there. So Aaron's just like, we'll get it in, uh, Afredo. Well, we didn't go to Afredo. So we get our lunch. Then Aaron and I have plenty of time. So Aaron and I packed up a pipe and I smoked a full pipe in my, uh, large pipe and he bought a pound of tobacco. So he's like, here, try some rum tobacco. So he basically, uh, we got home, and um, we went our separate ways. I wanted to clean, but by the time I got home, uh, I was like, Ugh. So I loafed around at home uh, for several hours. I did a Skype call. Then afterwards, I went to Aaron's place for dinner. He was playing uh, FIFA. So then found out a neighbor of mine. Don't mind me if I munch on a... Uh, 
uh, Red Vine while talking to them. A neighbor of mine wanted to go to town yesterday. Uh, yesterday, you know, she says, "Hey, I'm going on that." Oh, and while we were got home, we had plenty of time to um, to uh, pay the bills. So I paid all the bills, and Aaron says, "Do you have everything taken care of?" I said, "Hmm." Mm -mm. So, so next thing you know is uh, I realized three of the bills uh, didn't get paid. So I was like, eh, I'll go on tomorrow, I'll uh, get it done. So the neighbor says, hey, I'm going into Wenatchee tomorrow. I got to get a few things. You need to do some stuff. So we said, okay. So. I was supposed to go do an errand in the morning besides uh, the uh, post office box, bo uh, post office and post office box check, but I got up, I didn't message Aaron, and Aaron on the other hand, um, no, this was uh, the fourth, um, decided to uh, to get going. So I paid the bills from was yesterday and I decided afterwards to um, get on to uh, you know, other things. So we go into Arby's, you know. That's our first stop, lunch. And uh, don't mind me if I'm checking something while talking to you because I multitask in videos. As you guys know, a woman's job's never done. Apparently some, some idiot. Oh. Okay. Anyways, uh, never mind. Sorry I called the person an idiot. I didn't know who the uh, number was. So, uh... Anyways, about the whole thing when it came to, um, um, things. So we got done with Arby's, and I asked the man, the neighbor, can we go by the, uh, medical center? That's where I usually get my injection, you know, hormone medicine, etc., and other specialties. Pulled in there, got out, walked in, talked to Billy. Billy wanted to charge me four hundred dollars for uh, a dental or not a not a, an eye exam, and I said, "Uh, uh." Lady went through everything. Says, "Oh, I think it's because uh, your gender on your file is female and your uh, Medicare card is male." Uh, uh. If everything else is going through for my primary care physician and you guys are uh, having problems, then you know, I mean, it says right here, Medicare paid, Medicare rent, she says, hmm. Well, I'm going to sub resubmit it because of this and that, and we know what to do. Okay. So I left. And then we went over to Walmart. And uh, then we decided to. Uh, then we went to uh, Walmart. And uh, we uh, got some stuff done. I went in there and praised the Lord. My sausages I like, the uh, Chipotle Monterey Jack, apparently is a limited edition uh, sausage. It's only brought out in the, um, in the um, uh, summertime. So I picked up eight packages, picked up this tub of, uh, of uh, red vines here, as you guys know, and the Starlight Mints. Aaron, of course, was looking at, uh, screaming at me. Uh, we went down several aisles at Walmart, and he's like, "Hey, freaking idiot! What the hell?" You know, I mean, he was getting very kind of like verbally violent to a point, and it's like, finally, he's sitting there. You're a freaking idiot, Rita. I told you what I'm looking for. I can't find the effing size of the effing shoes. Well, as you know, transgender or a genetic woman, and I'm sorry to say this, because for him, of course, as a woman, and that's how I, I always address myself, as a woman, as a female, as a girl, I went one, low, one shoe length lower on the shoe rack 
said, here's your shoes, try them on. Oh, I didn't see that. Call me a freaking idiot when I know what I'm doing. A woman knows what she's doing when it comes to shopping for clothes. What are you thinking? Oh, I didn't know what I was doing. Finally, we get out of there, and as we're uh, getting out of there, I'm talking about how I'm kind of concerned with a few things. Then he calls, uh, calls me a paranoid freak ball. And, you know, a uh, freak. And a paranoid uh, little crap. Not paranoid. thing is, I was expressing a thing. We get in the car, and I'm like, well, we're going this way, so we can swing by Domino. And Aaron's like, er, well, and so we basically skipped it. So next stop was the dollar store, because as I told her, I needed to get some more of my gum and my candy until I can get into Afreda. And when I get to Afreda, I will be getting um, the Walmart. So, uh, Walmart, Safeway, and the dollar store, because, uh, you know, it's just... Um, so... You know, until I get in, I just got to have enough supplies. So we got enough dinners. We got enough stuff. We still got a whole chicken to eat that's in our freezer. We got uh, several things of chicken drumsticks. We got like eight packages of those. I told them, cook up the drumsticks, strips the meat. I'll make up a batch of soup. Simple. Soup can feed two or three days. He said, okay. So, and I have my crock pot I can use. Which, by the way, he was complaining, by the way, on the third... About how his electric bill was 47 and mine was 76. Excuse me, but it's winter time. The poor air conditioner's got to be used constantly, so you know. So, yeah, uh, yesterday when I was going everywhere, it's missing man. However, this one woman I think noticed I was gritting my teeth because Aaron's sitting there and he's a man, typical male, and he couldn't go through the sex change, so he's like, as this girl's bending over and bagging his groceries, her things are showing. I'm like, not at her, him. He's like, ooh, you have a nice view. You know, you can see it in his body language. So it's like, finally I go in, but this was at Fred Meyers. We go in there, and Aaron's like, oh, I just want to get some bread. My bread was on sale, and Aaron's like, oh, what do you need? And I'm like, I want to go to IGA for the sale for toilet paper. Oh, this is a great deal. You get this. So I said, who's buying it? I'm, he says, I'm not going to the IGA to save a dollar one for you or the Quincy Market. So you can save a dollar one. You're getting it here. And he says, don't be a freaking moron. Oh, you need shampoo and conditioner? Okay. Oh, look, you need your razor blades for your legs. I don't get those ones. I get these ones. But, you know. And then he's like, you need a shaving cream for your legs. So I got three cans, as usual. And I might have to get four cans. But, you know, last month I gave an, one razor blade to Aaron because he uses it for his head. So, anyways, I finally got done. And we decided to go home. Oh, and at the dollar store I picked up some a four-pack of Shasta for a dollar. And a, like, a 50-ounce bottle of... Uh, or they're about of a uh, Arizona iced tea for a dollar. So it's like, why should I pay a dollar for a uh, 23 ounce can of Arizona tea when I can get a whole jug, like, you know, a little under half a gallon for a uh, dollar. So I just went that way, you know. But uh, then I wanted to go by the meat department. I didn't get a chance because I want to see if they have more sausages or new sausages or what their prices are on steak. My birthday is in four days, so, um, but yeah, anyways, everything went fine. We got home last night. We went and had a friend come by. My, my apartment manager asked for, um, uh, my apartment manager, uh, invited everyone to a community block party barbecue because last night was National Block Party Day for our town, apparently. And the day before is National Day Out, so, you know, learn. So, we've had two events back to back, and today it's just a day of rest. So, when I get done with this video, I will upload it, but then I'm going to be uh, farting around because I have nothing better to do uh, except clean my floors, sweep my floors, tidy up the kitchen. Um, I wanted to get paper towels, but he's like, paper towels are too much. Get them later, so... 
Once I get paper towels, I want to finish cleaning the toilet. And the bathroom's already clean, so. Uh, but yeah, anyways, other than that, I just got some minor cleaning to do. I'm going to get to my Bible today again. I've got 1 Timothy uh, 4 through 6, chapters 4 to 6, and it's 2 Timothy. I also uh, plan to play some Breath of Fire today, do some Skyping and relaxing. So, uh, anyways, other than that, all is well. Nothing much to report, except talking about my transition, you know, for some of you. The uh, doctors I'm waiting for to get back to me, and I'm also waiting for the psychiatrist and the therapist to get back to me. I put in emails to all of them, so I'm just being a little impatient. But, what the heck? Uh, you know, all is well, so... Uh, my therapist is appointment is in five days away. Every day gets closer to his appointment. So, with that said, everyone, please add subscribe if you like. Please post comments, leave feedback, suggestions. Thank you, and may God bless the world.